I was talking to my brother Lee last week, and we talked about how so many people don't know how to use their arms, hands, and wrists. If you look at this video, my club head is somewhere back here behind my head. My left arm is approximately parallel to the ground. And as I swing this club through and my left arm gets parallel to the ground on the other side, the club head has traveled almost 360 degrees around this circle. And what's making that club head move is my arms, hands, and wrist, especially the wrist. Look at this angle here. Here is an angle between the left arm and the shaft of the club. Well, that angle goes to a straight line, and then the hands and wrists recock the club back on the other side. So we have to understand how we're using our arms, hands, and wrists. I'm an upper core player, so if you look at me at impact here, you are going to see that the club has not caught up to my left arm. I'm releasing against that left arm in these pictures. That's the support, and the, your weight has to be in your front foot to support it. But if you look at my sister Lori, and you look at her swinging uh, an iron here, you're going to see a mid-core player release. So here she is coming in the ball. Look where her club is. With her left arm parallel to the ground, here she is coming in. Look at that beautiful extension. But look, she's got angles. She has an angle here between her left arm and the shaft of the club. And that angle goes to pretty straight here at impact. And then she's going to rotate her arms and hands and recock the club on the other side. Now, she doesn't recock it as much as I do, uh, but she's still letting the club head go. She, she's moving that club head and getting a lot of arm, hand, and wrist speed in her swing. And then if you look at Kathleen, my low core player with a strong grip, she's going to be really rotated at impact. But look at her. Look at her angle. She's got angles. She's going to hold her angles longer because her body rotates a lot more. So look at her at impact with the driver. She still has an angle between her left arm and the shaft of the club. But guess what? She's still going to use her hands and wrists to rip that thing and release as she goes all the way through to her finish. So you really want to understand how you use your arms, hands, and wrists in your golf swing. From this angle, you can see how active the hands are in moving the club. Look at the hands moving that club. They're whipping that club past the ball, and the hands and wrists recock that club as we go through to the finish. If you'd like more information, please visit my website, LarryRinker.com.